Gibraltar is one of the most useful pillars to your team in any level of play, seeing gameplay in public matches and a near 100% pick rate in competitive play, such as a recent tournament, Apex Legends Global Series. He is a strong duelist, can create insane value out of thin air and keep his team alive for longer, as well as being able to synergize with other meta legends to get the most out of their abilities as well. Stay tuned to learn how to play Gibraltar in Apex Legends Season 12 in this next installment of Guide Wednesday, which falls on a first day because of the recent rank news where I use my over 6,000 hours to teach you how to play Apex Legends. In this specific instance, I have countless of hours competing in tournaments as a Gibraltar, so I can assure you there will be some really neat tips in here. Despite his strength, Gibraltar is the overall 12th most picked legend in the game, which is interesting when you keep in mind what I literally just said a little while earlier. His pick rate is pretty low in public matches and in lower ranks, but as you head up the ranks, he sees increasing amount of play, eventually putting you to the tune of near 100% pick rate in professional tournaments. This may be because unlike his character, Gibraltar's kit is not sexy. There's no flashy abilities or movement abilities that would be preferred in casual public matches, but his carry potential is enormous and the support that he can provide a team is unmatched. So let's take a look at that kit. In addition to the passive ability Fortified, which means you take 15% less damage from every attack and can be slowed by gunfire, Gibraltar's passive Gun Shield activates a gun shield when you aim down sights. This shield has 50 health points and protects Gibraltar's upper body from incoming damage, while at the same time letting him shoot out from it. Because it only covers your upper body, you can still get headshotted or have have your legs shot out from under you when holding the shield up. You can make it harder to hit you by crouching and as such limiting how much you're exposing yourself or standing behind a cover and just showing your head. The health of the gun shield can be seen on both the left and the right sides of the shield when aiming down sights, one bar equaling about 6 HP. Despite his big hitbox, the gun shield combined with the fortified passive makes Gibraltar one of the strongest duelists in the game, with an effective health pool of over 316 damage. Gibraltar benefits the most from using a sniper since he can dish out damage against Against other players with them only hitting his gun shield, but also in peak or bubble fights with a shotgun, since Gibraltar can trade a full shot of lead while only losing his gun shield in return. The shield can also save your life from an arc star if you get stuck by it, as it would bounce off of the gun shield instead of sticking you. If the shield gets broken, it takes 9 seconds to recharge, as of recently, any excess damage from breaking the shield will transfer to Gibraltar himself. You can see how much is left for the recharge by looking at the same bars that displayed the health previously. His tactical dome of protection, usually dubbed as bubble, deploys a large disc which upon landing projects a dome shield around it. The dome has a radius of 6 meters and lasts for 12 seconds. The shield stops all incoming and outgoing bullets and projectiles while still allowing players to pass through it. The dome shield also blocks line of sight of certain abilities, meaning that it disables Watson's fences, it blocks line of sight of Crypto's drone, and stops Caustic's gas from spreading. These battlefield altering abilities of the Dome of Protection makes it the perfect ability to initiate a fight. You can throw a bubble down to cut off immediate line of sight from your opponents and push up, or throw it straight onto an enemy team to allow yourself to push a lone opponent. Without going too in depth, the bubble can effectively be used to cut off line of sight between several enemies and allow you and your team to take one fight at a time, or at the very least changing the outcome of a fight from an 80-20 to a bubble fight which has a 50% success rate per default. You can also use the bubble to siege a Watson team. They might think that they're safe, but if you place a dome between Watson's fence nodes, it will disable all the fences that it cuts off, allowing you to run up. Just remember about them so you don't get caught once it goes down. Gibraltar revives teammates 33% faster inside his or an enemy's bubble, which means that you usually want to give him the gold backpack. Also, if you think that this video is golden, remember to hit that like button because it really helps. The speedy rest means that the bubble is also useful to play defensively or to reset your team when you're in a tough spot. If a teammate goes down, you might want to throw the defensive dome on top of them and rush over and quickly get them up before the enemy team manages to push their advantage. You and your teammates can also easily peek out of the sides of the bubble when the enemy team would be pushing up in order to catch them off guard for a devastating amount of free damage. If you are trying to keep enemies away from you, especially when reviving, you might want to consider dropping your defensive barrage on top of the bubble, but more on that later. Keep in mind that the bubble is not completely airtight, and if you place it on an elevation or uneven ground, there may be gaps for enemies to shoot you through the bottom of it. Remember though, this goes both ways. When taking a bubble fight, as in fighting around a dome, you want to only expose yourself to one enemy at a time, ideally trading shots with them without them getting too much damage off on you. This is a long mind game and could probably be in another video, but make sure to swing on enemies with your gun shield up and never overstay your welcome to get focused by the whole team. Gibraltars tend to get focused in team fights because of the higher team fight value, so if a team is overcommitting to kill you, start dancing around the bubble and stay alive while your teammates clean it up. If you're in a situation against one or several teams with 
Gibraltar in an open space, such as the final ring, the rule of thumb is that the Gibraltar who uses his bubble last will win. This is because the players inside of the last bubble standing will be covered from the other teams, while at the same time allowing you to shoot at the exposed enemies who use their bubble too early. Keep in mind that pulling a bubble late can backfire, as all of the teams might just rush up to you to steal the cover, as we saw in the ALGS very recently. The line from the disc to the top of the bubble will start flickering and playing a sound when there's 5 seconds left of the dome. The cooldown itself is 30 seconds and will start as soon as this dome disappears. This combined with the value of his ultimate makes Gibraltar almost a must-have for the gold helmet. This ultimate is called Defensive Bombardment and calls in a mortar strike on a marked position. When activated, you grab a smoke grenade, which when thrown marks a 24 meter radius around it for a mortar strike. For the next 6 seconds, explosives will rain down on the area, dealing 40 damage per hit and stunning any players who get hit. It will damage you and enemies and stun anyone who gets hit by it, so use it with care. If you are facing an enemy team's Gibraltar, there's not much of a point to use your ultimate before they have popped their bubble, as this is the only response to getting hit by the ultimate, short of moving out of the way. As such, try to force the Gibraltar to use his bubble early. You can do this by dealing a lot of damage to him or his teammates. Once a team has used their bubble, you want to throw your ultimate at them after the bubble starts flickering. The result of this is that the enemy team will be stuck inside of the bubble when it goes down and they will be exposed to your ultimate with nowhere to go. You can also use the defensive bombardment to hold off a team from pushing you, clearing a high ground or position and taking it yourself, or just simply to force enemies out of cover. No matter what you choose to do with it, the result has to be huge, as this ultimate has a hefty cooldown of 4.5 minutes. If you don't carry ultimate accelerants, odds are that you're only going to get to use it once in the mid to late game. Keep this in mind and try not to use it wastefully. When it comes to team fights, keep in mind that the Gibraltar is a defensive support legend and as such wants to position himself towards the back of his team. His strength in team fights allows you to play a little bit more aggressive at times and it may be required, but ideally you want to hold angles, provide cover fire and trade shots for your teammates. And always remember that you are the pillar of this team. You want to assist your teammates as much as possible and should always be the last one to die, since you can basically reset your team out of any bad position. Enemy normally know this and as such will play aggressive just to knock you if you're out of position. When it comes to your loadout, Gibraltar's primary should be a mid-range weapon, normally something like a wingman to trade shots or more commonly automatic rifles that benefit from aiming down sights, such as R31 or the flatline. The secondary can either be a sniper rifle or a shotgun depending on your primary and your team's playstyle. Gibraltar always wants to run a shotgun for bubble fights if you're going to play aggressive, but if you and your team want to play defensively or passively on a high ground somewhere, you might benefit from your gun shield to poke other teams and farm your own team's shields. I could go a lot more in depth with this, but I decided to keep it fairly simple for the sake of this guide. If you guys want to see a more advanced Gibraltar guide, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to see me drop a 20 bomb on Gibraltar, check out the video available on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Oh, what the? Hey, Nice! Oh,